What's up guys, Alpha here. And uh, today we're going to be doing a server tour and that's because I did say on the last video that we're going to be or that I was going to be making a blacksmith for you guys, but that ain't going to happen because well, I mean, it's going to happen. It's just not going to happen right now because I got into a little accident and I'm not able to build correctly at the moment. I'll get into more explanation at the end of this uh tour. Because what I, the the other series that I wanted to start is uh, I wanted to start doing tours of builds that I like, and the uh, this is the only tour, or this tour is like probably the only tour that you're gonna see from me. I'm not obviously not gonna be touring my own builds, but this is the only one because I really, 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 really like this one, and um, and yeah, and that's basically it. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and go check it out. It's actually in the, this is a uh, size server, by the way. Me, me and Zingo went ahead and uh, made uh, her, her survival spawn, and I went ahead and made her creative spawn, and that's what I want to show you guys. Because not many people are allowed to go in there and check it out. And because you have to, like, pay to get, like, VIP and stuff. And this is what I want to show you guys. It's really, really nice. I really like I put, like, five days work into this and i like it a lot it's like a village it's for her creative spawn because i made her this little house right and the little house i mean she claimed this huge land and like i only made a little house and i'm all like when i came into here i'm all like oh i need to make something bigger since there's so much area here that that uh, is all like the admin claim so i went ahead and just started building stuff and then i, I thought about a village and this is what I came up with. You guys can see. I love this build a lot. This is probably one of the best builds I've done in a while. And it only took me five days. And it's all by hand as well. No world edit involved. And it looks amazing. I love it a lot. It has um, houses, uh, bell tower, more houses. Uh, that's a market area right there. You got a windmill back there in the background. And that right there is a town hall. And this is like the power supply for the village it's powered by uh, the, a water stream by a uh, watermill and stuff and that over there is like a tree of living or something we'll get to that area we're gonna start on this side first um this right here is basically just a little market you got these little nice little um little fruit stands and stuff or whatever oh that's broke oh, oh well fix that later uh you got a hay bale uh market to for your horses and stuff it's just for looks. Everything here is just for looks. It's not like any of this is going to be used. It's creative. I decorated it. I built everything here and decorated myself. So, I don't know. Me decorating is not that good all the time. But I think I did alright for the style. It looks pretty good. And then you got a fruit stand. The insides are kind of the similar. They're just a bit different here and there. Just all, all around stuff you get this is like these houses right here are just like the people that own the business uh building uh live in it as well in the upper stairs and then like the first floor is their market area or where they keep the stocked stuff and then their actual living area is on the rooftop which is like three floors kind of you would count this as a floor but that's where they would be selling the stuff yeah, and then you got like a pottery type of um type of store right here this looks pretty cool. I kind of like how this one looks. And then again, you got their stock area with all their chests and stuff. And then right here is where they would live. It's tiny little homes for little villager people. And over here is the weapons. This is where you get your swords crafted and stuff. Got all types of swords to buy. All types of stock going everywhere. It's probably a lot of weapons and stuff. Not nothing. And then over here is where they live again. It's really similar. Same designs. Well, same basically layout. You got the stock room, the selling area, and then you got the oops. And then you got the living area up at the roof. Oh look, there's a dog here. I didn't do that. And this one, this one I love this build so much and I love how it came out. It's really huge. It looks amazing. I was thinking of it to be like a huge mansion house, but I'm like, oh I should make a town hall. Town hall would be amazing. And this is the whole build itself. It looks pretty cool. I like it a lot. You got the two towers, lookout towers on the top. You could at the two top of the towers. I'm gonna be going there, and I'm gonna be showing you how it looks. 
You can see the whole village from up there. It's really sick. Mm. And yeah, this is this is the town hall. And I'm using the texture pack is a uh, mega doku. I'll go ahead. And, oh yeah, there's mobs here. I don't know why. Uh, the texture pack's mega doku light or something like that. I'll put it in the description for you guys. I went ahead and built it in this texture pack, but um, it I could be done. I had to make sure it looked good and faithful because that's what this everybody on the server uses since that's a uh, size let's plays um her texture pack that everyone uh, that she uses and this is this is her uh sub server so yeah this is they're basically just offices and then you got some sitting area and stuff offices office on this side as well looks pretty cool they got a fireplace in every single office which makes it look really cool and medieval like you got these double double sided stairs on each side going up to a, another mini city area sitting area then you got the another cool little fireplace and stuff like that you got a little bit of new technology back in the old ages they had laptops apparently i don't know i had no idea what to put so i just went ahead and put that and then this is the way up to the tower this is really nice i like this a lot just look at it you can look at everything from up here looks really nice villager houses go ahead and go to the other office as well they're pretty much the same the, these two top ones nothing really different just kind of changed around the desks and stuff there's a skeleton right there I guess he owns this place and then you got the, the same going back up here you can look out everything it's amazing the scenery from up here got a little mini couches here and uh, yeah this is pretty much it. it this was really big and at first i didn't know how i was gonna do all of it because I, i'm not really that good on the inside than i am on the outside as you can see i don't know they would mark this inside as all right but i'm pretty sure other people can come out with a better inside i do love the outside the most oh wait actually let me leave it open i do love the outside the most look at this it looks just so amazing this is this is one good build i like that and then you got these uh, actual um, villager houses. These are the lower cost villager houses. They're a little bit more smaller than the ones on the other side. I'll show you those right now. They're pretty much all the same on the inside. There's, it's kind of changed around here and there, but not, not really that big. That would be like something to show all of them. But yeah, you guys go ahead and grab designs and stuff. Yeah, just go ahead and just random place stuff. And that's how it is in medieval builds. It's just random designs and details that like you would have on the stuff right here and by the way i think i made this one either this one or that one over there on on my channel if you guys want to go check that out there's a let's build for it and then there's this uh cool windmill i like how this came out this actually looks really cool the very the top tower look thing and then the windmill i had trouble fix doing doing one until i finally like i don't know 30 minutes later i finally came up with a cool design and look at it, it looks pretty cool and yeah, this is the windmill, and I, I don't even know what to put in here. I just put like hay blocks everywhere, as well up as up here. There's a lot of floors up here, and then you got like I don't know counters. And then the last floor has um a couple chests and random stuff here. The turning mechanism, I don't know. I just stack up a bunch of blocks and stuff, you know, made some design. And there you go. It's it's really simple. Oh, well, it's not. Well, it's kind of simple. If you got, if you could get the, the detail to just like add blocks and make these cool little shapes and stuff. That's what basically medieval is. It just add these really tiny shapes and stuff, and it makes everything look just so amazing. Now this tower as well, I also did on a let's build of it. If you guys want to go go ahead and check this out, this is a really easy tower. I made it three times on here, but there's only one of them, and that's right here and yeah you guys if you guys want to go check that out it's it's really cool i like it. it it could be used for any type of lookout position and then over here i was thinking of a clock tower but it didn't quite work out because i didn't know how i was going to do it and then i thought i'm like wait a clock tower in a medieval world i don't know if they had clocks so i went ahead and remembered i'm like oh how about a bell tower and that's what i went ahead and did and it looks really cool i like it a lot i went I didn't, at first, I didn't even know if this would fit, and I was just in here thinking of what I'm going to do in here, 
and I tried it out and it actually fit pretty good. Like, I mean, it's kind of banged against that, but bell towers go side to side. And as you can see, there's room over here and room on this side. So it looks pretty cool. This is this simple, kind of simple bell tower. Nothing really huge. Looks nice though. I like it a lot. And, uh, oh, wait, let's see this go through here. And you got another mini bridge over here coming this way. Back to the f main fountain, the main area, which is a fountain. Now, these are a little bit of the, I think these are the house. Yeah, this one was the house that I did a tutorial on. If you guys want to go ahead and check it out. They're the bigger houses, and um, these are the more high end. You got, like, this cool little light post thing on the, in the front. And then you got, yeah, this was it. You got um, this actual staircase instead of ladders. See, look at that. You got chest in here. And if you guys watch this, this is how I, uh, I, or if you guys watch the Let's Build for this uh, house, here's, this is how I uh, furnished it. It's kind of simple furnishing, like I do. And then I had a bed up here, some counters on the side, and then some sitting area. That's pretty much it. And you could actually cover this right here and make that a floor and have another floor. But I went ahead and went with just one, just to have the high ceiling and stuff. But it's pretty cool. Oh, what? Glitch. And, um, that's, those, I think pretty much every single one on the inside is the same. Yes, I did do them all the same. Yeah. And then here, here is, a uh, an avatar tree, but I, I called it the family power tree of living. And this was actually my first, like, big tree that I tried to make, like, by hand. This is my first try, and I think it came out all right. Maybe I did, and... I did a little bit too much of organic shapes on the sides. I might go by and just smooth it out a little bit on the on the actual long part of wood. I don't know what it's called. Basically, what you do is that you just do a, a three by three, stack it all the way up to a certain height that you want, and then you just add to it, just add organic shapes to it. And then after that, you basically just add the these shapes all around and stuff, and then you add... You don't, you add the bushes last, you um, just create these branches in all like type of directions and organic shapes and then just start uh, putting leaves and start putting them down a couple levels and come down a couple levels, down a couple levels. So it looks like it's just like an actual tree and stuff and add some bushes in the bottom and stuff with some glowstone. So to keep this place lit, I also added some fence posts with some torches so it would light it up as well as these uh, little hanging lights from the the branches from above. I kind of, I like the bottom a lot. I don't know about the top. I might have to come, come through this thing and uh, refix it up because I don't know. I feel like it was just a little too uh, rounded or squarish like. So I'll see how I, I can fix that later. But all in all, that I think it came out pretty, pretty nice. I like it. And that's that's pretty much the village itself. It took five days. Um, not exactly like 100% five days, but I mean, you know, I'd do my homework, come over here, start working on something, and I'd finish an area uh, per day. And then I saved all furnishing for the last because, you know, that's really boring. <laughs> but look at, oh, I forgot to show you guys this over here. This is really simple. There's nothing big about this. Um, it's just, you know, another one of these cool little bridges. These bridges are actually really cool. I made them myself. Um, you just add some really detail. You add the wood planks, then you add, a uh, stone on both sides, and you just curve them as to however far you want. And they look pretty cool. You got this wheat going all the way around over here, and this was, took days. I had to put, place, I had to hoe everything first, then place down seeds, then bone meal, and you know how bone meal is. It's broken in this game. Like, it takes forever to get everything to grow. I like it how back then you just hit it once and it was done. It was good. But it once it was done, look how look how cool it looks. And then I went ahead and added this little uh, river here so it would keep... Um, so it would actually make sense with the, the power wheel thing. Which I was going to plan to do it right here, but I wanted to be elevated. Like, let's say you were coming off this bridge and then you're just, like, coming up to it, which would make it look cool. And yeah, this place, I didn't furnish this, so yeah. <laughs> but there wasn't really much room, like what could I put in here? I don't know. So I went ahead and just leave it like that. But it, it's cool little water house if you guys want to 
build it. It's not that hard. It's really, really simple. It shouldn't be hard to do. You guys could probably build it from just looking at it right here. It's really easy. And yeah, that's what basically powers the whole city or town or village. I mean town. Village. And yeah, it took five days. Finished it in those five days. Did all the uh, interior last because that's really boring. And then I had also had to do custom landscaping all around. I wanted it to be uh, surrounded by water, like kind of like it was on islands. And that, yeah, that's pretty much it. But I'm what I'm gonna be doing, guys, is if I'm like on the fan server, if I find any cool builds that I really really like, I'm gonna be touring them. Um, this is probably the only build that's gonna be from me because I don't wanna be touring my own stuff. That's kind of lame. And um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But for the reason why I didn't do the blacksmith that it was that was requested, is because just yesterday I got into a, an accident and um, I broke. Well, I didn't break, but I injured my finger really, really bad. And it's the one that you like you move forward right with W, and you move you move A, uh, or you press A to move to the left, and I injured my first finger that you used to press D and that's why when I want to move that to the right I usually just turn the camera and I move like that and it, it kind of slower building so I just want and it's like really swollen right now so I kind of want the swollenness to go away and then I'll be able to start building again for you guys because I don't want to um, I don't want to be building for you guys and then like hardly show anything in the first episode because I'm building so slow because of my injury but it's nothing serious, so the swanness will go down in a couple of days and uh, we'll be back in action. Um, but that, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop making videos. I'm still going to make videos every other day. So hope you guys uh, like it. And um, if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. There's You see there's a Let's Build for that, that those houses right there. Thinking about doing the windmill um, and all those other houses, the, maybe the market as well. Or maybe a tutorial for the large tree. You guys go ahead and tell me of you whatever you guys want to see and i'll probably i'll give it a try and yeah I'll be seeing you guys in the next video um bye